Okay, so today I'll talk about a P0711 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0711 code? Well, it's a transmission fluid temperature sensor, a circuit range performance. And what does this mean? Well, basically, transmissions can have a lot of sensors built into them. And one of these sensors is called the transmission temperature sensor which just reports back to the computer the temperature of the fluid inside of the transmission. And for some reason, the computer's seeing a problem with the sensor. For example, if you've been driving the vehicle for like five, 10 minutes or something like that, and that sensor's not reporting anything to the computer, it's not reporting that the transmission's heating up or anything like this, and then the computer's gonna know that there's some kind of problem with it. And so it's gonna send out this P0711 code, and it's gonna need to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0711 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a bad fluid temperature sensor. It might have just gone bad. It just needed to be replaced. You can't test this sensor if you want to. These sensors are what's called a thermistor, which is a resistor whose resistance changes with temperature. So if you have a multimeter, you can look at what the temperatures are and check what the resistance is with ohms and match it to a chart for your specific vehicle, since there will be differences, and check to see if the resistance matches what it should be for the current temperature. And this will tell you whether or not it's working or not. If it's open, you know it's bad, but you can also match it to its rated resistance for the temperature. Be sure to look up what the rated values are for your particular vehicle for your TFT sensor, since there can be differences. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad temperature sensor. These sensors can be located differently. They can be located on the outside of the transmission. They can be located up inside of the transmission. So it's really going to vary. It's just going to depend on the vehicle, the year, different things like this. So if you do go to work on your transmission, you will need to get a diagram where all the sensors are located and what's going on. Since again, there will be differences. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad transmission fluid temperature sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on inside the wiring going to the sensor. There's like an open, a short. There's a bad connection somewhere, something along these lines. Troubleshooting wiring can be kind of difficult sometimes. To test the wiring, again, you will need to get a diagram or a schematic for your particular transmission on which wires are going where and to which sensor and different things like this. And then once you find out which wires are going where, you can go through and check them for the correct values and be sure that there's no opens or shorts or anything because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring issue. And the next thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of issue going on with the transmission. There's something going on with the valve body, or there's just some kind of issue going on with the transmission that's just causing a problem. If you're just getting a P0711 code, very likely it's just that transmission fluid temperature sensor or the wiring going to the sensor. But if you're getting a lot of other codes, then it is possible that there's something else going on and something else has failed inside of the transmission. And the last thing on the list is that there's something going on with the computer, with the PCM or the TCM. It's having some kind of error or something like this. This isn't too common. It's fairly rare for a computer to go bad, but it is possible that there is some kind of issue going on. If you do think you have a computer problem, be sure that your battery is good, that the alternator is charging correctly, because these computers need a good stable power supply, or it can throw them off or cause them to have issues. Also, a bad ground can throw these computers off. So if you do think there's a computer issue, then quite often you can use the jumper wire. You could go to the case and then go to a good ground and just see if the problem clears. But like I said, it's fairly rare for some kind of computer to have an issue. But the last thing on the list is going to be a faulty computer. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0711 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.